Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday, but we have a lot of question marks as we head into this Sunday today. Happy time change for a lot of you guys. I know the clocks have rolled back and also happy Halloween, right? A lot of stuff going on on this Sunday and also some stuff that happened yesterday inside of this game is giving us a lot of question marks. We're not sure what EA is going to be doing today since the things we usually see on Sundays actually happened yesterday. With the mini release of three extra Rule Breakers players coming into packs on Saturday instead of Sunday. Now, there's a couple of codes that have been added. Flashback and Bape is being talked about. I want to speak on a couple of those things that are rumors, right? A lot of rumors are circulating right now. And we even saw the market impacted by these rumors yesterday on Saturday. We saw a lot of prices drop down. And that created a lot of potential for flips. As you see on my transfer list, I made a lot of coins, right? I want to update you guys on some of the insane profits that we have had in the past about 24 to 48 hours and also talk about what I expect for content today on Sunday since really there's a big question mark on what's going to happen today and even this week as people are really expecting a lot of content based on what some leaks have said. But first thing that is 100% guaranteed and confirmed is what, we're, what we thought we were going to see today on Sunday the mini release of three or four more Rule Breakers cards and packs. They added three more yesterday on Saturday. They added Gundawan, Zakaria, and this fodder card, Barkhausen, uh, which as you can see, he's already 13K. He's basically discard, not quite discard though, because a lot of people are actually buying up Barkhausen and um, what's the other guy's name? Um, Coates. They're buying them up because these new promo cards have been required in SBCs the past two weeks. So if you want to try to get one of these guys' squad battle rewards this morning, I believe pretty soon, it's like in three hours or something like that, maybe you can snag a Barkhausen or a Coates on bid, but there's a lot of competition there. So I don't know if they're going to require rule breakers in SBCs, but people are already starting to prepare for that by buying some of these cards at basically discard. But we did have a Gundawan, a Zakaria, and that Barkhausen released as a mini release on Saturday, which is interesting because usually, right, those mini releases, at least for the first three weeks of the first four weeks of FIFA this year with the two promos that we've had, the mini releases have always come on Sunday, which again... We're heading into a very interesting day today on Sunday as it is Halloween, as it is the time changes. Now, could we get specific Halloween related content today? I think it's possible since we have already had like the kits um, and the, I think it's in the store as well. They have like kits and like stadium theme, like bundles and stuff related to like Halloween trick items, right? So they might have some sort of like a trick SBC today. As you can see, this expires in one day, 14 hours. Maybe they're going to have some sort of like Halloween related content today. I'm not sure. I really don't know what's going to happen with that. I would expect like a little pack SBC. That's the one thing I would expect today. Will they go beyond that? I'm not sure. But it just seems a little weird that they dropped those uh, those three players early, right? That's the big question. Why did they do that? And we're going to, I guess, try to figure that out and just kind of wait to see what content is today. Now, a couple other things that they could be doing this for, right? Put your tinfoil hat on for this because when we say put our tinfoil hat on, it means we're coming up with theories, right? We're coming up with theories as to why they may have done this. And one of the reasons people think this might be happening is because if you remember in years past, I believe it was Sundays where we had a lot of icon SBCs. Now, those were icon player SBCs, but I'm just kind of pulling at strings here, right? Maybe some of these packs that EA added to the code on Friday maybe these are going to be coming into this game. I'm really not sure, but 82 plus player packs, a hero upgrade pack, icon upgrade pack, and an 81 to 86 rated players pack have all been added to the code. Now, a lot of people are looking at this and saying, this looks like icon swaps, which it could be, but an 81 to 86, I don't think we've ever seen that in icon swaps. And an 82 plus pack is like an upgrade pack. So if these are all packs that are going to be coming within this next week, especially especially this icon upgrade pack since fodder is just so cheap this year compared to prior years especially on the low tier end right 83s are basically discard price 84s are under 2k 85s are less than 5,000 coins the only fodder that is actually up right now is like 87s and 88s sorry 88s and 89s because those are inflated because of some of the SBCs that we've had and they just don't have as much supply as some of these lower tier ones do but i'm really starting to wonder usually we don't see icon upgrade packs 
until Black Friday. But with these prices being so cheap this year and with the market in general just being so cheap with a lot of these gold metas being so cheap on this market, I wonder what if EA is going to take this opportunity a couple weeks ahead of Black Friday. Yes, we're going to start talking about that. And I wonder if they're going to take an opportunity here to release an icon upgrade pack earlier than ever and make it seem somewhat affordable, right? Like an icon upgrade pack, I believe in years past, it has costed like 500K plus, like six, 700K, I believe it's somewhere in there. It's going to have to be a huge SBC for it this year to be that kind of price. I think if they make it a little bit cheaper, that could be one thing they do to drain a ton of coins off the market before Black Friday would come around. Now, I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know if that's going to be coming today on Sunday. I honestly don't expect it. But that is some potential that I see with this, right? Again, that's me putting my tinfoil hat on. I do not want you to go out and panic sell stuff because, again, that is not confirmed. This could literally not come out for another couple weeks. And we see nothing along the lines of a hero upgrade pack or an icon upgrade pack for a while. Or it could come out tomorrow. That's the crazy part about this game and with content that there's always that aspect of you never know what EA will do. So I'm not living in fear of these two things. I'm still trading on the market and making coins because there's a lot of cards that are going up and down. If there were a time that these did come out and I still had cards that I was trading with or you had cards that you were trading with, uh, I think that both of these packs right away, if they do get released, would impact the market a lot. An 81 to 86 and an 82 plus, those are basically just upgrade packs. But a hero upgrade and an icon upgrade, those would be a little bit more expensive than most of the SBCs we've seen this year. Hero upgrade shouldn't be more than like 100K. It, I mean, maybe 150K at the most, but with so many heroes being cheap, that shouldn't be very expensive. And icon upgrade's probably gonna run that range of like 500K plus because there's a lot of icons uh, in that like three to 700 K range that you would probably pack from that SBC. But a lot of people would want to take their chance on that, right? So I'm not living in fear of this and I don't really expect this to come out today, but it's in the code. So it could come out whenever, right? That's the scary thing about that. Uh, but also not so scary if you want to think of it that way. Now, here's the other thing, this SBC, there's been a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors the flashback Mbappe SBC is going to be coming, all right? A lot of people say a flashback Mbappe is going to be coming. Now, a lot of people also talked about this Conte SBC that came out earlier this week. Those, The same people that said Conte coming out or Conte was coming out are the same people that are saying Mbappe is going to be coming out. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this is that EA usually don't release flashbacks like this quick in succession, especially a flashback of this caliber and a flashback of of uh, Mbappe's caliber. That's crazy, right? To have those two high tier names get flashback SBCs in the same like week period. I think that's a bit too far fetched. Now, could EA be going crazy with the content and again, trying to drain some coins before Black Friday? Maybe. Could an Mbappe flashback SBC be coming? Maybe, right? I think it's more likely that we would get one of these uh, rule breaker, either a Kudus or a Dante. I think those are going to come out over the next couple days, but maybe one of those drops today on Sunday. As yesterday, we didn't have a player SBC, and usually they start off with two player SBCs towards the beginning of the promo. I would expect one of those to be dropping today on Sunday and not really an Mbappe. So we will see if an Mbappe is coming, but. I believe that's more hype than fact, but if it does drop, that would be an SBC that would change the game because this Mbappe card is one of the most broken items in the game. And even if they were to release a flashback Mbappe that would be like 87 or 88 rated with literally less stats all around uh, and maybe like, I don't know, maybe a little bit more pass. I don't know what they would do for a flashback Mbappe because this dude is still very young, right? I, I don't know what they would do. I mean, he's 22 years old. So like, what are you flashing back to when he was 16, 17? Like that, that's kind of crazy. But um, this would be a card that is so broken in game that so many people, if this SBC was priced under a million coins, a ton of people will go out and do it because they would have an Mbappe in their team with the same player build as this one. And it would just have less stats and probably be cheaper, right? Think of the same Cristiano Ronaldo SBC that we had last year in um in fiva 21 this this flashback ronaldo right here right it was a minus five from his uh from his card that was gold right he had plus two pace his passing uh was not good it, it was basically a big downgrade on the card except for pace but it was the first ever like ronaldo sbc a flashback ronaldo back to the man united days right ea almost called the transfer with this sbc if you think about it kind of crazy 
Uh, is it SBC going to come out like that just after we had a insanely high profile Conte? Are they going to do that that early in the game at this time of the game? I really don't think so. I mean, this Ronaldo came out like right after team of the year, right? It was late January when this was released. And I just, I just think that an Mbappe is a little bit too far fetched, but there's rumors going around and that's why specifically on this game on Saturday. And you know, even today on Sunday, you saw the market drop off a bit heading into 6 p.m. Uh, content drop, right? The content drop, you saw a lot of prices dropping yesterday. And, you know, today on Sunday, maybe we get upgrade packs a day early, right? Maybe there's for some reason transitioning their content to be one day ahead of time for whatever reason. We could have some upgrade packs today. That is potential as well. And a lot of people would go out and do upgrade packs for this Rule Breakers team that is out in packs. But with the, with the panic selling, I bought this Holland yesterday um, on Saturday, right before the content drop for 850,000 coins and sold him at 970. Now he is back down again. I've been doing a lot of like overnight into the morning flips and then basically buying when everybody's selling and then sell when everybody's buying. This Holland's back down to 860. These price swings on these big cards are, li they're literally mental, right? On this Holland card. Um, so if I see anything too much lower than this, like right now, I'm going to check the supply and see how many cards we have listed here to like 930k because i think that if holland holland could go to 930 if he doesn't have that much supply which he's got two pages and some overnights so you know if i saw something along the lines of like another 10 or 15k down for holland it might be worth it might be worth a shot like if i saw an 840 or an 830 as long as he goes back over 900 then I would be making some decent profit. And I think he could go back over 900 heading into this morning on, on Sunday morning, right? Now, these promo cards, they rose good yesterday uh, from Friday night into Saturday, but they don't always, right? It's it's a very fine line because a lot of people try to make these flips and it does not always work. But the past two nights, it has worked, right? I bought an Usman for 990, sold it for 1.077. I posted a lot of this on my Twitter, by the way, if you want to see a more laid out, uh, spreadsheet format or not spreadsheet format, but typed up format of some of the deals that I had made. And even tonight I bought in some Rudigers. I got some Rudigers at 360,000 coins, 360, 359 is kind of around the average price that I paid for those. I actually bought those on stream literally like 30 minutes ago. And since then, this guy, I just timed it perfectly, right? He started to get rare. I saw that he only had like two pages to like 400 and he had two pages from 360 to 390 and then another page to 400k. So right now we have three pages, a lot of 390 overnights on this Rudiger card. But again, this is a pacey center back that is in the prem that is basically if somebody's been using Varane or they just did the Conte, this might be a card that they're wanting to go out and try. So I'm already up. That card has gone up about 25k from where I bought it for. I'm hoping that it goes 400k or above uh, this morning because that's just a card that a lot of people are trying out. And I also got a Trent at 220 because I thought that was uh, I thought that was a little bit cheap on the market. I also bought some Vinicius Jr. Inform because of his panic selling. Again, that Vinny Jr. Inform is down because people think that he might be getting into Team of the Week. Um, people think that with his performance on the weekend, he's going to get a Team of the Week card. And his card has literally gone down uh, a ton, right? He was around... I think he was around like 360K and this card dropped down to 260 yesterday and it's gone back up to 300 multiple times. It's had a lot of fluctuations. Uh, so I'm just kind of waiting for this card to get a little bit more rare again. Maybe try to cash that out around 300 or just a bit over. Um, and that's kind of the moves that I have on my transfer list and on my, in my account right now are just some of those cards. A couple of ones to watches. Uh, Tamori, I'm going to be selling into the hype today. If you have a Tamori sell into the hype 100% for their game today, because they are one game away from that wins to watch upgrade. And when that wins to watch upgrade is achieved, his card will get upgraded, but not right away. And so many people are waiting for him to hit that five wins or for some of these other items like the Chelsea cards, right? Like Lukaku wants to watch. They're on four wins. So this card is going to get an upgrade the next time Chelsea do go ahead and win a game. Same thing with Saul. There's a couple other cards that are nearing that, that five win mark as well. So there's a lot of hype and those prices are going up. So that's why I picked up a Delaney because Sevilla won yesterday. They're on three wins and his card went from like 15,000 coins uh, down to, I think like 12K or something. I think I picked one up at 12K. So that was the reason why I was buying a Delaney. That's why he's on my transfer list. So, you know, keep an eye out for a few of these like Sabitzer. Oh, he's back up. GG's. Um, Sabitzer is one that has kind of dropped off a bit that I was trying to get around 20,000 coins. 
because of course Bayern won another league game and that pushes uh, the hype up on a card like this. Sabitzer is 22. Yeah, so I was trying to get this at like 20K. So maybe I'll find a bid or a snipe and try to snag one of these Sabitzers at that price because they'll just keep rising until we get to the actual, like basically that four win mark is kind of the peak for those ones to watch that could get an upgrade. So yeah, man, it, I'm really, really curious to see what EA do for content today on Sunday. I wouldn't expect anything crazy to happen in the store. I mean, I just don't know what they're going to do with like Halloween because we've had the trick items. I, I think the most likely thing for content today on Sunday would be a Rule Breakers player SBC, right? And there's a couple names that have been shouted for that uh, as, as quote unquote leaks, I guess you could say. Uh, but since it is Halloween as well, maybe some sort of like trick SBC item. Uh, we had the against the current SBC yesterday on Saturday. And we also have uh, an objective we have an objective Antonia, but we also have Rule Breakers Rush, uh, which gives out a lone, uh, Rule Breakers lone player and a mega pack, which is kind of interesting. So if we get any big content today on Sunday, a hero upgrade pack, an icon upgrade pack, since there is still some weekend league demand, I do honestly think that you would see prices drop, but I do think you would see a rebound, right? Some of your high tier meta cards, as you're watching, whether it's some of these Rule Breakers, whatever the content is today on Sunday, Here's a couple of things that I do think we'll see. Let me preface it this way. I think you're going to see people that are expecting a big Mbappe type flashback or an icon upgrade or a hero upgrade. People are just worried about this stuff, right? Again, this is what happened on Saturday. Take a look at Holland. I sold my Holland at 1.06 right here. Literally two hours later, he's dropped down to 874 and then rebounds again. If you see this sort of panic again today on Sunday, which you might, you might, you might see Holland go from like 900K down to 800K. That could be another potential scenario, or maybe he goes down to like 700 something. That might be another scenario, or on Usman Dembele, or on Trent, or Rudiger, some of the higher tier cards, it works out best. If you see that sort of panic again today on Sunday, um, you could take a little bit of a risk. If you think it's gonna be a quiet content day and we're not gonna have a big SBC like some people are worrying about, then you'll see some of those meta cards bounce back. If there is big content, I think you'll see cards drop further depending on what that content is. I do think you'll see some stuff still start to maybe you know, bounce back from that, whether it's gold cards, whether it's out of pack stuff, like some of these RTTKs. Jesus Navas is right, is down at the moment, 113K. He was 120. Um, also keep an eye on these RTTKs. We'll talk about it in tomorrow's video a little bit more too. Um, Mukiele 80, that is an undercut, but these cards are going to kind of come back into focus because we have Champions League games this week. And we also have Champions League, uh, we'll have UEFA marquee matchups. So for, so for you guys that are wanting to invest in team of the week, I'm not touching these cards until Tuesday. I'm not touching, I'm not getting near them because you know what we do this year. We don't mess with supply. Okay, we don't mess with supply. These guys are in packs till Wednesday, and we're probably going to get UEFA marquee matchups on Tuesday uh, with Champions League games on the 2nd and 3rd of November this week. So I'm not investing in any Team of the Weeks because uh, usually, you know, Saturday into Sunday is when people start looking at Team of the Week cards. I'm not touching these uh, just yet. I do think that there is some more, there is some more, uh, I guess you could say, supply to come and prices dropping to come. So for today on Sunday, I honestly think it's going to be probably another Rule Breakers player SBC. Um, and uh, much more than that, maybe a, a Halloween type SBC, but I'm not expecting too much, right? I think it's just going to be all hype again. And if I'm wrong, then hopefully the content that they release for like an eye cut upgrade or a heroes upgrade would be sick. But I'm, I mean, we're just kind of waiting to see how EA play their cards. And we're just going to kind of have to adjust accordingly because uh, there's definitely going to be panic if any of those big things do get released on this game. Um, but of course, if nothing gets released, which I feel like has the higher percentage chance, then, um, then we're chilling. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. If you're trading on the market today, I mean, chemistry style is still good. Some of these fluctuations are so insane to trade with. Again, like I mentioned, I'm going to check Trent right here, but trading with these rule breakers, especially if there's no content, what you can do right away is go check their card on the market. If there's no content today on, on Sunday, see how much they've dropped off and, and see, like Trent, he's actually starting to go back up. I got mine at 225 and he is 235, 232, a couple sitting there. So, you know, if this guy's back down at 200,000 coins uh, Sunday around content drop, then we might get interested in that again, right? Bouncing back to like 220, 225, something like that. So just keep an eye on that stuff when the content drop happens and then you'll be able to, I guess, act accordingly 
based on what you see um, on this market. So it's going to be an interesting Sunday. I'm excited to see what happens. If you guys are too, hit a thumbs up. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.